Offering a webinar is a great way to build your brand, introduce yourself to prospective clients, and establish yourself or your company as an industry authority. Whether you want to offer a free or paid webinar is up to you, but the true value of a webinar begins long before the actual session starts and can carry you along well after it is done. You can leverage your webinar for your SEO and turn a one-time event into a long-term marketing effort with extended life and use. Here are three ways you can use webinar marketing to help your SEO before the webinar takes place. One, create a unique landing page. Chances are you schedule your webinars well in advance. Start the sign-up process early by designing and launching a landing page for your webinar. This unique landing page can rank in the search engines for keyword webinar, so make sure you take the time to properly optimize it. This includes developing meta tags and a meta description, creating a unique URL structure, optimizing the content, and so forth. You want people to find this landing page. Once you have an actual page built, it can be indexed and rank in the search engines. This makes it easier for people to find and sign up than if you just added a snippet of the content to the bottom of another page on your website. 2. Social Promotion Let people know you are holding a webinar. Send out a tweet, a Facebook update, post at the LinkedIn groups you are a member of, and any other social network you may be on. Include a link to the landing page and a call to action encouraging your network to sign up today. And don't forget to repeat, one tweet isn't enough. It is going to get lost in the shuffle. If you have the right programs, you can schedule out social profile updates. Depending on how often you regularly post content, have the link to your webinar landing page go live two to three times a week, maybe even more. You can also promote your webinar in a company newsletter if you publish one, or just send out an email blast to your mailing list. Make sure you include share buttons so others can pass the landing page link along to people in their social networks. Three promotional blog post and press release. A week before the webinar is scheduled to take place, write a promotional blog post announcing it. Include a brief overview of the topic to be presented and who the information would be beneficial for. Incorporate the landing page link, both through anchor text and the full link, into the content of the post. Don't forget your call to actions. The same day the promotional post goes live, you can also have a pre-scheduled press release go out. This will help build awareness as well as links for your webinar landing page. You can also use webinar marketing to help your SEO during the webinar itself. If you have a Twitter account, develop a hashtag, stylized by pound keyword, for the webinar. Encourage attendees to tweet during the webinar itself and share key pieces of information as they come up. If you get enough people tweeting, your hashtag might even turn into a trending topic. Having that hashtag will also help if anyone is searching Twitter during your webinar for related information. At the end of the webinar, encourage attendees to connect with you on your social profiles. Drop in a slide with the appropriate links. Here are three ways you can use webinar marketing to help your SEO after the webinar takes place. 1. Reuse the landing page. Don't scrap all the work you did. If you think you might ever hold another webinar, keep the page around. As it ages, the page will build a stronger trust with the search engines. Since you promoted that page specifically, it probably has a decent portfolio of quality inbound links as well. That link juice doesn't have to get lost, and you don't need to 301 redirect it to a new landing page for a new webinar. Unless you have to change the URL, you can just change the content to reflect the next webinar. 2. Record and share the webinar. Let your attendees know you are recording the webinar and that it will be available as a resource for them to keep. People like having a reliable source of information on hand. You can share the webinar as a video, complete with audio, or just publish the presentation itself as a standalone document. If you don't limit who can access the published presentation, people will link and share that as well, helping your SEO. 3. Write a recap post. Just like you wrote a post promoting the webinar, why not write a recap post? You can include an outline of the presentation, any comments or questions you got from attendees, as well as a link to download a copy of the presentation. 
While the webinar in itself can be incredibly valuable for building your brand and reputation, there is a lot more added SEO value to be had. Don't let such valuable content go to waste.